Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we have a very special guest with us again. You know, you know what? You got your residency. You're, I, you're in. I think I'm there. It's like I, I don't. I don't think I'm a special guest anymore. I'm just kind of a yeah. Okay, Is it a cameo here. now? A cameo. It's Mr. X here. Just coming right back at you from the from the Crazy Town couch. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's just different than the casting couch, hey. but not much. I'm wondering. <laughs> you're right. I'm wondering. Would you be like a uh, what am I thinking of? Like name name like a group like a group that always had like a member come out that he wasn't really a part of the group, but he would always come out on stage with the group. What? I got nothing like, for you. Like, <laughs> what the hell are you talking yeah, about? A group with a member that like, wasn't part like, of the group. Like you know, like he's like Spinderella. You mean like uh, <laughs> Salt oh, Pepper and Spinderella? Like salt Pepper. He's Spinderella. in the background. You can't have him without him. But yeah, yeah they can still go. Yeah, <laughs> they're still Salt and Pepper. Was salt and Pepper was still the group. Salt and Pepper. Salt yeah, pepper. he's like Spinderella. You okay. had that on deck. I'm not yeah. sure how I feel about that, but let's go. I'm yeah. Spinderella. <laughs> hey, I'm Spinderella <laughs> coming here on the Crazy Town Podcast. Respect is that like uh, Draws and the Legion of Doom, Animal Hawk and Draws? Okay, that works. I yeah. mean, he became part of the group, though. That, that, that he Eventually, but, you know, he was kind of still off. Yeah, yeah. That, was yeah. Good. that one kind of appeals to a different subculture. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I exactly. thought you were going with groupie, so I, I'm good with A groupie? With, no, Spinderella ain't a Spinderella. groupie. Spinderella. No, 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 I know. I, once he said, I was like, okay, I'm not a groupie. I thought that's where he was going with it. <laughs> no, no. You, you, like, you know those girls uh, that follow bands around? Like, that's <laughs> the... I was like, I don't know if that's me, but cool, thanks, fuck you. I, wanted the I don't two, know what you're both. doing over there, but... Uh, uh, so Alabama wants to be the first state to execute a prisoner by making him breathe only nitrogen. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Wait, say that one more time so I can truly understand the words that came out of your mouth. Uh, Alabama. Yeah. Gotcha. Wants to be the first state. Gotcha. To execute a prisoner. Yes. By making him breathe only oxygen. No, I'm sorry, nitrogen. nitrogen. So, okay. Is, is that is that like a, a non painful way? Of, I, I was going to ask why. Let's, so I got to know why yeah. they wanna they wanna do it a uh, nitrogen hypoxia. So it's been authorized by three states, but has never been used because I guess during something there was. During 2018, there was a shortage of lethal injection drugs, so they said that an alternate way to kill someone by, like, not uh, kind of like lethal, is they would just blow pure nitrogen into your nasal, <laughs> and then you would be, uh, you wouldn't have enough oxygen, and you would die. So it's like the gas chamber without the chemicals. They're just yeah, yeah, definitely really, a gas chamber. Yeah, I mean that's kind of what it, it sounds is. like. It's like, and I would assume you just fall asleep. It, it's yeah. like. CO2, so apparently CO2. you um, get lightheaded and just pass out probably. Yeah. So apparently this is a very similar uh, mechanism to the way that the, the suicide coffins work that they've been uh, kind of talking about. I know it's, it's Who is they and where do you hang out? Obviously it's not approved <laughs> in America, but they do have. Uh, <laughs> they've been talking. About they've been talking about implementing. It's in another country. I okay. can't remember okay. exactly one of the. Uh, Seems like Netherlands or somewhere. It, or it's very close in that area. Finland. But yeah. they were talking about having the. Uh, assisted suicide being legalized and they were talking about having uh like these these areas where you could go obviously it'd be under the supervision of a, of a doctor and a, a staff and they would essentially put you in one of these things and you could end your own life there and it was a relatively inexpensive way to do it so i you know what i don't know it, it when you, when i hear it come out of your mouth like they're going to start pouring nitrogen into you to kill you it sounds crazy but then i think of what have they been doing they've been doing lethal injection before that it was which electric. doesn't always work right like exactly yeah and then it was what electrocution so yeah. there's really no like nice way to do the thing i guess this is probably better than the alternatives but i, but I mean when you're suffocating you know you're suffocating like it's painful yeah. for, for a minute like i would imagine this isn't like you don't just fall asleep. I mean, it's not like seat, like carbon monoxide. I mean, they could use that. Why would? Why don't they use? Just that? hook it up, hook it up to the back of somebody's car and rev the engine. Like, what do you think they ought to do? Just fall asleep, yeah, man. It might wag painless. Yeah, it's Alabama. I'm not shocked they're not drying. <laughs> There's actually four states left that still legally have firing squad. Yeah. As a as a way of uh should we, should we guess the four? Yeah, yeah. Let's play that game. Okay, let's guess the four. States. I don't. I think there's one that you won't guess. I'm guessing Arizona. Arizona. Wrong. Oh. Texas. Nope. No, Texas. Wow, no. Oklahoma? Yes. Okay. One. Okay. Florida. Nope. Damn. Uh, firing squad. Firing squad. 
Uh, a couple of I Nevada. Mean, Nevada. W- no, a couple. No. When you hear them, you're gonna be like, "Oh, I get it." Idaho. No one. There's one that I don't think you would guess. Number All right. One. Uh, let's let's get one more one more guess a piece, and then you can just name them off. Well, give, give me Mississippi. Two. Yes. Oh wow! This dude. Okay, I, I get one, one more. One for man. two. All right. Uh, Montana. No. Tennessee. <laughs> nope. Mississippi. Mississippi. Okay. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. You're like, oh, I get it. I get it. South Carolina. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And Utah. Utah. I almost said Utah. That's the one that I was like, y'all probably. Utah. Utah is pretty back ass words on the some last stuff. place to do it was Utah in 2010. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What was the What was the case in 2010? You just it, a, it said it was a murderer. Oh, okay. That was it. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So it's I like think that, I think I remember that, and the guy chose that. Like it was like it was an option. It was a big thing because yeah. I think it was a long time before that. Yeah. Because it says, yeah, firing squad is normally composed of several soldiers, all who are usually instructed to fire simultaneously, preventing both the disruption of the process by one member and identification of who fired the le- lethal shot. Lethal shot. Yeah. Yeah. So they all do multiple shots to the head. And shooters typically aim for the heart, sometimes aided by a paper or a cloth target. The prisoner is blindfolded or hooded, and then, you know, only one of them or something has a real bullet. So why, you don't why, know. Why are they hooding them? I don't understand. Like, so you can't see their face, yeah. I guess. Uh, I yeah. imagine that, look, for for one thing, I, I don't know if I want that to be my like my nine to five. Like, I'm the no. firing squad guy. No. Like, they call me up, yeah, we need you. <laughs> TNT, we need you to, you know, do the thing. And some I just go and I clock in. I put my lunch in the refrigerator. And Hard just, truth. Some people get off, would get off on that. Yes, that's 100%. Thing. And I think those might be the individuals who they... I mean, if that. they're like, who's volunteering for firing squad? Exactly. The guy who wants to kill somebody is the firing squad exactly. guy. Exactly. They're the guy that never got any action, and they're just like, you know what? This is my night. I might it's, not... I'll be, well, I got a 10% chance that I'm going to be the one who did it. So when we, if, when we listen to that... And then we revisit, they want to blow nitrogen up your nose. Yo, give me the nitrogen. I think I'd rather yeah. get shot in the heart, nitrogen. man. Yeah. Well, the sh- I mean, that's not instantaneous, right? I mean, you're not going to die in instantaneous. I imagine that. that it has to be um, less. If they hit you, perfect. Well, see, they should aim for the head. Maybe, the, I don't know. I guess, that? I mean, I guess as the dying party, but I, I don't know if I want that. They have 10 guys, only give one of them a fake bullet. I don't know. And then I'm they gonna... all aim for your head. Yeah. You'll die. I don't know if I want that. I don't know if I want I, that. I think that's the quickest way to go. The anticipation before that, standing in front of a line of guy out of, with guns just drawn, I'm good. I don't know if I want that. I, that's like nightmare fuel for yeah, me. Yeah, if I have a choice, I'm, that's not going to be the choice. I where if how I would just, you guys choose to go? Where if I could just be in a hospital bed and I just drift off to sleep, essentially what does this nitrogen pro See, I don't know if it's going to be... The pain is a, is a is a factor with it. Right. I don't know if that's I thought a that's what lethal injection was. I thought they put you to sleep and then gave you the lethal whatever. And because it's know. yeah, like one yeah. of them is like a. I think one's like a anesthesia, which are like yeah. you you get really like numb, then you fall to sleep. Yeah, and then they push whatever the poison because is. Because it's, it's you. not necessary. You've been you've been sentenced to death. You're already pay- paying the ultimate price. I don't really feel like it's necessary to make it a painful process. You're already gone. You're gone. Electrocution sounds awful. You're, you're done. That sounds awful. Yeah, yeah they'd be like awful. they might as well be like we'll drown you. Like I mean, like bro, like that's like it's wild. <laughs> yeah, the amount of pain that you go through before an electrocution. Now see, now that's a hundred percent inhumane. I, I honestly feel like the fire squad is too, because it's like okay, fine, you shot me in the head. What if I live? Shoot him again, bro. Just put me to sleep, man. Just put me, <laughs> just, just put me to sleep. Yeah, because put think... some air in my nose. Put something in the line. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out on the firing squad. Dude. Yeah, but, but yeah right. so, <laughs> Give me a lobster and put me in a hospital. Give me bed. a lobster. And put me in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, what they do? Sounds sounds legit to <laughs> me. I guess. Give you a fucking lobster and put you in a hospital, dude. Okay. If if. Somebody murdered somebody close to you. Yes. And you could go watch them be executed. Would you go? Nah. No, nah, I'm good. I don't really want to see that. There's no need to live me live. I, I think I've been through enough. I don't think I need that little bit bit of extra trauma. Like you would you be a- want them to be executed, or would you go to court and say, "I want"? I would much rather personally ha- want them to stay in jail for the rest of their life so wait, because of what they did, than get them to die and get to go this out. This is actually funny because this is very similar to a question that's been circling a couple of podcasts that I've been listening to. Would you rather a person go to jail? Or would you rather have an hour with them to just do whatever you want to? Person, Jail. person, person kills your mom. Jail. 
You want him to go to jail or you want you want an hour with him? Jail. Carte blanche. Well, I mean, in, in, in the hour, want. can I kill him? Yeah. Then I probably would. I mean, that, I, just, <laughs> I don't think that's really helpful. I, you know what I mean? I mean. I, even if that's my choice, jail. I, it's, I guess it's kind of like the idea of like, would you rather have the retribution yourself? Because if somebody were to hurt like somebody close to your mom or child or sister or brother, like sure, the process is going to go through, but the whole legal system. It, it, if it, it was my forever. child, I'd skip right past the legal system okay. and go, go get my hour before it ever <laughs> yeah. got to court. Fair enough. Yeah, Fair let's enough. put it that I'm way. not a big vengeance person. I think like if I could be guaranteed that they would spend life in prison, no chance of parole. Or I get an hour with them to do whatever I want. I'm like, rot, rot your ass in jail and think about how you did that for the rest of your life. So here's the question on that I, that I've, I've always pondered, which is mm -hmm. it is very expensive to keep someone in jail. It is. Oh, it cost me money. It's costing, uh, it's costing society a lot of money to put somebody there for life. So really, you're helping. And then they're getting free health care. Cause they can't, I'm like, I'm like, you're there for life. Why are we keeping you alive? Like, like you, Oh, you've got cancer. Sorry. Okay. It sucks. Yeah. Can we tattoo a racial slur on their forehead and put them in prison? That <laughs> would, and then and then nah, the I, gangs have to well, get them. I might watch that. <laughs> I, I might want to watch that. <laughs> then the gangs will get them because they walk in and it just has a slur. Well, on hey, let's just forehead. build. Let's just build a big round stadium and let them fight lions. I heard, I they, mean, heard that was a thing. Oh, I have already that. said that they should bring back the gladiator battles Bro. and let the winner go. Just put air in their noses. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. Air. TNT and Mr. X. We out. <laughs>